Lacan wrote an essay on mirror stage in 1948. When does the mirror stage occur? Lacan locates the mirror stage in the development of a child between ages of 6 and 18 months. In this stage, a child can recognize his, her own image in a mirror. The child exhibits a jubilant assumption of his specular image. Speculum means mirror. The child is jubilant because the image reflected in the mirror is what Lacan calls the ideal I, an idealized, coherent and unified version of itself. The child's ego is precipitated into the symbolic matrix of language, the symbolic order. The word primordial indicates that the experience of the child is premature, anticipating its entry into language and into the entire relation of subject and object, which will govern its engagement with the world. The mirror stage occurs prior to the child's actual acquisition of a sense of self, a sense of itself as subject in distinction from objects in the world. The child experiences as projected in its mirror image itself and its surroundings as an integrated unity. This present experience of illusory unity is not entirely left behind even when the child grows beyond the mirror stage. The illusion of unity and enduring identity that occurs in mirror phase also anticipates the lifelong alienation of the ego not only from the objects that surround it objects of desire, but also from itself. The passing of the mirror stage marks the transition from the child's jubilant and comforting assumption of his satisfying total image or I in the mirror to his entry into the social world. The child has effectively passed from the imaginary order to the symbolic order. The child's knowledge or awareness will never be immediate will never be based on pure experience which precedes identity formation and the categories of subject and object. Rather, it will enter a socially elaborated system where all knowledge will be relational and highly mediated through social, educational and ideological structures and where the child as subject will confront elements of the world as objects, as forms of otherness or foreignness to his identity. His relation to these objects will assume the form of desire.